Hey guys, Tony's asked me to share our journey in regards to print media at Harcourts Coastal. I think if we go back a few years, it was certainly something that we focused very strongly on, um, particularly in our movement towards the high end. We had consistent pages in our local paper, and it was something that we kind of took for granted. Our market actually changed and we started to get a lot of volume, a lot of traction, and we made, I think it was a mistake in hindsight, to kind of not focus as much on print media because we were of the belief that we could sell property without it. We kind of also fell into the trap of not pushing it too hard at the listing presentation because stock was tight and we didn't want to miss the listing and we thought perhaps if we went too hard on print media that we'd actually prevent ourselves from or disadvantaging ourselves at the listing presentation. Certainly we found that we could sell property reasonably easily without print media. However, what we were thinking is that we were actually not getting the premium price for our owner. And I think if you look at it from that perspective, we've worked out that if you come from the perspective of marketing property loudly and casting the net over 100% of the market, not just suburb-based internet searches, but also print, which does bring in buyers that perhaps wouldn't be searching in particular suburbs. If we have that belief and we market property loudly, the byproduct of that is profile. And certainly in the last month in particular, we've been at the front of the paper in the Gold Coast Bulletin with anywhere between 15 and 20 pages. Previously, we were averaging two or three pages. The conversations that creates in the marketplace are just invaluable. And what we're seeing now is that we're getting called in again to bigger listings and we're getting called into the listing table, which we weren't even aware of some of the listings we were missing by not being strong in print. So my advice to anyone who's considering whether they should or shouldn't be in print is let your competitors tap out of it. But to me, I think that's a great opportunity for us to be strong in it. That's our experience, and now that we're back into it, I'm definitely seeing an increase and an uplift in our call-in rate, and I will never let that happen again. I'll make sure that we're very strong in print. I hope that's helped, and uh, I, I urge you to reconsider the whole print question, because I think when others tap out, that's when we have to be strong. Thanks for listening.